Hello there, my name is Dick van Oeveren and this is the sixth video in the series uh, Building Your Data Center from Scratch using Aruba Fabric Composer, Aruba OS CX switches, uh, but also some great stuff around the 10K, which will be showing, which I will be showing you in in this, you know, in this video and uh, subsequent videos from from now on. In the previous videos, I've created the, you know, the whole fabric. Um, so discovering the switches, creating the layer three, the spine leaf, creating the overlays and everything. And now I'm gonna get into the security part of the data center networking with Aruba OS CX, and with the 10K especially. Um, and in this video, I'll be uh, going through, I'll just you know guide you a little bit through the Pensando Services Manager, uh, just show you what it is and where you can find the information and stuff. Um, so without further ado, let's dive into Pensando Services Manager. Right, so let's log into PSM. Get into the dashboard once logged in. Uh, you'll get some, uh, well, some information on the dashboard, all the DSSs that are discovered by PSM. Uh, so the DSSs are the 10K switches. You can see that there are two uh, available and two admitted. Uh, so we're all we're all good here, 100% healthy. Um, PSM is running in a cluster of three, uh, so you can check out the uh, the cluster information here. So there are three uh, three entities really: so 26, 27, 28. Uh, I think we're all good here in terms of CPU memory and storage. Let's go back to the dashboard. And um, I can also navigate to the DSSs here um, and get some DSS information. So these are the two switches, serial numbers, um, operating system that is running. Uh, there are two DSMs on each switch. Uh, so the DSMs are the security ASICs onto which traffic is redirected for um, stateful layer 4 firewalling. Uh, so we've got two on each switch as said. Um, and each ASIC, uh, well, will give you uh, roughly 400 gig of stateful firewall throughput. Um, I can also go into one of the DSSs and check out the status, things like temperature and power. Uh, well, I guess we're still good there. Um, and also, one of the things, I'm not going to show you this in the video, but um, we have this uh, firewall logging capabilities here. Uh, well, actually, let me just show it to you. Um, and so what we can do here is that we can actually export all the flow information to an external destination. It can be a syslog server, or it could also be an XDR system like Splunk, or maybe a third-party uh, XDR uh, system. Um, or maybe an elastic elastic data lake or you know whatever destination uh, you can uh, send the, this flow information to um, and it will send you um, that destination all all the flows that you have on the uh, on the DSMs so all the traffic that's redirected onto the DSM uh, on the, onto the Elba switches is um, is exported to those uh, to those targets that's really what you can see uh, in the dashboard and in the DSS information. The other thing I want to show you is the firewall logs. And uh, let's go into the firewall logs here. Um, now, <clears throat> at this stage, nothing is uh, configured in terms of networks um, and, and policies. So there's not much you can, uh, you can see. Uh, what we do have is the GVA VRF, which is actually... Um, uh, you know, uh, so because we've uh, configured the integration with PSM uh, on AFC, this information is actually imported, uh, well, or exported, imported uh, by PSM. So PSM is aware of this VRF. Uh, so what we can do is we can select that uh, VRF and we can, um, you know, I, what I can do is just check out the logs for the last couple of weeks. 
uh yeah you probably need some ip search requirements here but you know in any case um so what i could do is say uh, well just take a source 10.6.201.102 10.6.202.105. Okay, let's do a search. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't give me any information because there are there's no logging information in there. It will get there eventually once I have configured the security policies and once those security policies are enforced. So really, you can see those firewall uh, logging information in here. Um, so. That's something uh, to remember, and I will use this uh, this function uh, obviously later on in one of the videos, or maybe a couple of videos. The other thing uh, that uh, I can show you is the VRFs. So we have two VRFs here. We've got the default VRF and the VRF that we've created before, the GVA VRF. Um, not much to see here. There are no VLANs because I have not configured any networks. Remember that uh, in one of the previous videos, I said that uh, in order for networks to be visible on the DSMs, I need to create networks in AFC because I haven't done that. Those networks are not visible. So let me just show you those uh, those networks. So you, you can't see any networks because I have not created any networks in AFC. All right. So if I go to AFC, let me just... Do that um, actually what I can do let me just create let me just create one network and uh, so you can see that that network is actually being displayed so from here I go into networks and I create um, network 1201 So that's 12.01. And so you don't see any networks here. Once I apply, uh, the name does not meet naming requirements. Okay, let's go back. 12.01. And apply. So if I go back to PSM, you can now see that network 1201 is created here on PSM as well. And now, so really what happens now is that because I have created this network, um, what happens is that any traffic that comes into VLAN 1201 is now redirected to the DSM to check for policy enforcement. So um, so that's, that's that's actually really cool. So I can remove this network again. If I remove this network, then the traffic just stays on the switch and is, you know, like um, um, just passed through on the switch. So it's not being redirected to the DSM for inspection. Now let me just uh, create that second network again. Uh, let's so network 1202. And in the next video, I will be using these networks to create a policy. So you can see that network 1201 and 1202 are created now. They are attached to the uh, to the GVA VRF. Of course, I can also create the networks here in PSM. It will, um, you know, it will act in this exactly the same way as if I would have created networks on Aruba Fabric Composer. So as soon as the network exists on PSM and is pushed to the DSM, uh, it will then be, uh, traffic will then be redirected uh, to the DSM for inspection. But again, there are no policies applied to those networks, so there is no inspection taking place. And then we have the security policy section here. Um, there are no security policies configured at this stage, and that's something that I will be doing in the next video. And that's it for now. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, again, um, looking forward to the next video where I will be creating a security policy, uh, very simple, straightforward security policy, blocking ICMP between VMs uh, using uh, PSM.
using the Pensando Services Manager. So thanks for watching and uh, until next time. Bye bye.